I want to do a quick little video about this homemade turtle trap that I made. This is the finished product and I used 48 inch tall, uh, I think it's 2 inch by 3 inch uh, fencing that I'd used uh, around a, a small dog kennel for a while and I made it 24 inches wide by 18 inches high. So what I did was measured 18, 24, 18, and 24 and cut a piece and I left, where I cut it, I left the wires sticking out on that last cut side. And then that's what, after I I had a 4x6, uh, heavy 4x6 that I folded it against to get good uh, sharp corners. And then I used those wires on that last cut to wrap around the final joint there at the top to to uh, to seal it off good. Then for the inlet, I cut a piece that was uh, 24 inches wide, and it is uh, uh, four uh, 12 inches long. And I left the wires again. I left the wires on it uh, sticking out on the inside, and so and I did that on both ends, and then that's. Again, that's how I fastened it uh, to the bottom edge here, and then I brought it up uh, two spaces or six inches and uh, secured it on either side. And then I, I ran this piece of one half inch uh, PVC pipe through there because I knew I had a big turtle, uh, and I've put a video on about it. Uh, I did catch it after about four days, um, and it it weighed easily 20 to 25 pounds, and this trap held him just fine. Uh, so back to this, I, I, but I, I knew he was sort of heavy, and, and, and this was not as strong as I wanted it to be, so I figured when he went across it, it might bend it down. So I put this under there just to support it when, when the turtle goes across. Now, for the top, uh, or, the, or the, uh, the flexible part, uh, I made it about an inch narrower on either side, and I tried to make the, uh, where I, I, I cut that and bent it over to try to make it so that it wouldn't catch on anything going up and down. Um, and then it sort of falls down so that the wires on the end of it uh, sort of catch uh, the wires on the bottom. So and then that way, you know, when it, when it moved, that, that 25 pound turtle didn't even get out of here. I mean, he was snuggled down here underneath this ramp but uh, but didn't get out but i was a little concerned about the the force that they ha might have to move against on this going up i mean it 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 rotates freely and i'm i mounted it using uh, just uh, standard little zip ties but i in order to to keep it from being completely down uh, i i put a piece of uh i just used a piece of dental floss in here and 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 tied that so that it's it stays raised up just a little bit but will fall down enough uh, once the turtle goes by to to still close it off at the far end um, I, I put the end on here uh, similarly to the way I did the side I cut it uh, and left the wires out on the end so that I could twist them around at the top and that make that makes it swivel and then I use uh, zip ties down the side and across the bottom. And the reason I did that, and I, honestly I copied this from another design I saw on YouTube, um, but again, that makes it so that if you have a big turtle in particular and you don't want to mess with it, uh, I do catch and release. I've got a, a large creek about a half a mile away where I took that big one, and I'll take the others if I catch them. But you can, once you get it in it, uh, you can tilt it up and cut all these cable ties here and flip this up and then just l let it come out the end and you don't really have to handle it. I use just a regular uh, can uh, suspended here at the back that I put chicken liver in and I also, once I, once I throw it into the water, I, uh, I toss a couple of chicken livers in so that they're down essentially on the bottom toward the middle of the cage just to give them a little more incentive hopefully to come in. Uh, so that's about it. I did put this, I did cable uh, zip tie this across the back just to give it a little more rigidity and I use it to lift up uh, 
and, and when I throw it in. But it, I mean, it's it's I don't think it's really required now that I've done it. And then I've got a rope with a carabiner clip on it, so that uh, that big turtle honestly uh, almost pulled it out into the water uh, when he got caught, just because his his feet were so big that he could get enough grip through the wire. So I put this on there, and I tie it back tight enough so that uh, there's air space up at the top because I don't want them to don't want them to drown because as I said I do a catch and release so anyway that's my story I uh, hope it helps anybody any of you who are trying to catch turtles the one I caught was a big snapping turtle I think the others that I have may be uh, what they call eastern cooters but I'm not sure I won't know until I catch them I think I've got two more but I want to get I really want to get them out of the pond because uh, we like to swim in the pond number one and the snapping turtle was uh, I think eating some of my fish so I had to put a stop to that